Hey, what's up everybody? It's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a natural hair product declutter. And I'm also going to be showing you how I organize my natural hair products as well as my natural hair tools. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on Instagram at so naturally Gwen. All right, let's get started. So yes, I'm filming this on my iPhone right now, so hopefully the audio and everything is okay. But today I'm going to be doing some decluttering. I've been decluttering my entire apartment and like redecorating it. Um, but yeah, so let me show you the before and what I'm working with and then we'll get into decluttering. Okay, so as you can see, this is where I keep all of my natural hair products. So this is actually my shoe closet. If you watch my apartment tour, you will know that I have this extra closet that I store my shoes in, but I decided to clear up some space and do like a natural hair section. So yes, I decided to do a natural hair section just because I was going to get like some type of extra storage, but I have this whole closet. I was like, Gwen, you can like make some room. So that's what I'm going to do. So first what I'm going to do is empty out this closet and just lay everything out and then separate into like what I want to declutter and what I don't want to declutter. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so I am back with my big pile of products. And so I want to separate these out. And so yeah, let's get to decluttering. Okay, you guys, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So I am back, so um, I did not declutter that much. And now I'm going to start to try to organize what I am keeping. Okay, so like I mentioned, this is the stuff that I'm keeping. This is the stuff that like I'm trying to figure out if I like it still. So this is the stuff that I'm like, you know, still trying to see, you know, if it works. This is the stuff over here that I haven't tried yet. Okay, so. Next, what I'm going to do is separate the things that I was keeping in my shower. So for sure, the things I'm keeping in my shower or are all of my VO5 products. I don't know. When I put them in the closet, I don't know. I just didn't like them in the closet. I like that they're skinny, so they fit really well in a shower. And I actually got a new organizer that I'm going to show you guys. So I'm going to show you how I keep these organized without them like crashing and falling all over the place so i'm gonna put that to the side and then the other things that i've been keeping in my shower recently are this conditioner right here so this has been my favorite conditioner recently it's the tresemme botanique coconut milk and aloe vera conditioner this has been my favorite conditioner right now so this is what i have in the shower and another thing i've been keeping in my shower is the mystic black uh novex what is this? Mystic Bla Novex Mystic Black Hair Mask. As you guys know, this is my favorite deep conditioner at the moment. And now that's pretty much it as far as what I keep in my shower. But now I'm going to get into what is actually like in the closet and trying to figure out like how I want to separate it because um, I haven't talked about this on my channel yet, but I've been big into protein moisture balance. And so I'm trying to like uh, establish a routine of how often I use protein or moisture in my regimen and also just you know maybe not a schedule but just like if I ever want to use protein or moisture depending on what my hair needs I want to be able to know like what products to use so I'm going to separate everything pretty much I think by like protein and moisture and I want to show you guys I don't know if you see these post-it notes on everything so this is what I like to do for my products right now um because as you guys know like the writing on containers are so tiny and I'm just lazy, so I don't want to have to decipher stuff. So I get really like annoyed when I have to like read little writing. So it's been helpful for me to keep a post-it note on them. 
So that's what I've been doing recently. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that method, but it's actually been really helpful. So I think I'm going to use it um, for right now. I highly suggest you guys use it in case you know, you're like me and you like to keep track of like humectants and proteins and stuff like that. Um, it helps me with figuring out combinations of products. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I bought more bins, so, well, I didn't buy bins. I bought other bins and now I have these empty. And also I gathered some Tupperware that I didn't want anymore so that I might use for some DIY stuff. So I'm trying to put these off to the side because I think I'll use them for that. But now I have these two containers. I'm just gonna clean these out really quick and then I'm gonna start to try to load some of the products in here. Next, I, yeah, you guys, I'm just like so torn about all of this. So, um, man, now I have some DIY stuff that I think I'm just gonna load some of this stuff in. So there's some DIY stuff. So like some aloe vera juice that has not been opened yet. I'm trying to experiment with that again. My ACV, some coconut oil, stuff like that. And then in here I have oils. So I have like applicator bottles. And I have like tea tree oil and stuff like that. But then I have like some empty little bottles here. So I'll just keep those in there. I kind of like how the Tupperware looks in here. So maybe I'll keep these in here. I don't know if I need all of these, you guys. Like, I don't really make a, a lot of stuff. I think I need to narrow it down. I've already used these a lot, so I think I'm just gonna keep these. And I'll keep the lids just in case, but I don't think I'm gonna keep these ones. And these are machine washable anyway, so um, yeah. And then, and then I guess I'll keep this bowl. So that actually fits really perfectly. So I think I'm gonna keep that like that. And then I got a blow dryer because I kind of want to try wash and goes again. So I have this, I got it from Amazon and it's like a retractable um, cord. Yeah, so I'm gonna figure out how to organize this one as this as well. Um, I have some drawers, so I think I'm going to organize it through that. But yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just kind of like figuring this out as I go. So I'll let you guys just watch me organize all of these items into my closet.
hope you could see everything, but this is the final result of my organizing. So like I said, over in this bin right here, I have the stuff that I'm still trying. In here I have new products. So this is the justification as to why I don't need to be buying more products. So that's how that went. And then over here is the stuff that I'm keeping. So this is like pretty much my collection as of right now. And then I decided to over here just put my go-to products because as you could see like they really didn't fit in this keeping bin so I just decided to put the go-to products over here and they're the ones that I keep going back to and that always seem to never let me down so I'll show you them real quick this is the Camille Rose honey leave-in conditioner I've really been loving this stuff so yeah super moisturizing the next product is the Emerge my main BFF leave-in conditioner I taught I uh, mentioned this on an Instagram post and I've really been liking this. Um, I actually tried something from this company before and I didn't end up liking it, but this one I ended up liking better. So I like how this is a cheap product, but it's effective and moisturizing. So I really like that. And you also get a lot of product. And then I have two butters. So this one is my favorite one right now. It's all rubbed off. This is the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Curl Defining Butter. This is so moisturizing. If you have really, really dry, stubborn hair, I suggest you try this. This is so moisturizing. It doesn't have any coconut oil in it either, so you're not going to get any like protein moisture issues from this. It's just straight moisture, and I really love it. It's super thick, and a little goes a long way. And it's so moisturizing. I, has, I highly suggest you try it. And then I have the Curl Theory Multi-Style Cream, which I really like. This doesn't have any glycerin or like aloe, so like no humectants in it, and it has no proteins in it. So this is what I call nothing products when they don't have any protein or specifically moisturizing ingredients in it. They're just kind of like they go with anything. So if I have an ingredient where like I have a lot going on, I usually will put this with it. And this is actually still uh, moisturizing. Like It's hydrating because it has water in it, so it's water-based. So this is good for stiff products like to put it with other stiff products like this honey one this doesn't have a ton of slip but it's moisturizing and then with this together it kind of helps to like uh i guess uh dilute it a little bit so yeah these are the products that i've been loving a lot recently so i just decided to put them over here and then over here as you can see i put um, a label over here so these are my oils and also my applicator bottles but it's mostly my oils and um yeah my essential oils and stuff and then I keep my DIY stuff over here. So be on the lookout for like some pre poo videos. I might put some on my Instagram or my YouTube. I'm not too sure. So um, yeah, I've been experimenting with a lot of products. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then as you saw, I have my little K-pop photo cards that I love so much. So yeah, that's how I am organizing my hair products. So let me show you what I do for in the shower. you guys so that's the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoy finding out how i store and organize my natural hair products if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe also be sure to turn on all your notifications and follow me on instagram at so naturally gwen i'll talk to you guys later bye